Hi, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I block print on fabric and everything that I use. The first thing that I use when I am printing on fabric is the Speedball Easy Carve Stamp Rubber. This is a really, really soft surface to carve onto and I find it works best for printing on fabric. It's also really thick so you can get a nice clean carve so you're not, so you don't have noise on your print. I find that softer surfaces definitely work better for printing on fabric so I would recommend either this, they have a blue version of this which I don't like as much because I find it's really grainy whereas the pink one gives a really clean cut. There's also, yeah there's loads of different types of softer surfaces but this one's definitely my favourite. The next thing that I use is the Speedball block printing fabric ink. I have this in loads of different colours, this is definitely my favourite ink because it's really thick and you can roll out really nicely and it rolls onto the stamp rubber really nicely. I have tried in the past using screen printing inks but I just, I just never found them as effective because they were too thin and I would have to dab it onto the liner with a sponge. They're definitely a cheap option because this can be quite expensive, especially like one tube like this I think is about £12 so it is kind of pricey. And if you are just starting out, it might be worth trying it with some cheaper ink to get a feel for it before buying some expensive ink. The next thing I have is this um, fabric printing roller, which I got from Hand Printed UK. I don't know if you can see the texture. It's kind of like, sorry, the sun's really bright. It's kind of like um, a really spongy texture, so it picks up a lot of ink, like more than a normal rubber roller, and it allows for a thicker coverage of ink on the stamp. The next thing I have is a Baron. My dad actually made me this one, but you can get them from Hand Printed UK and I think Speed will do a version. This is for applying pressure on top of the stamp onto the fabric. I find this works better than using a roller because a roller can often cause the stamp rubber to like stretch and distort a little bit and it will distort your design. Whereas the Baron just applies pressure from on top onto like a singular spot and I find it works, yes, yeah, so much better. So now I'm going to show you how I use all of these and print a design on fabric so I can show you everything that I do and a couple of tips to get the best print. First I draw my design onto a piece of paper and then I place that face down on the stamp rubber. I use a pencil to apply pressure to the back of the paper to trace my design onto the stamp rubber. I find this is the best way to trace my design but everyone has their own way of doing this. Sometimes I use tracing paper or just draw straight onto the stamp rubber. Any way is fine. Then I go over my design with a pencil to make sure it is clear and I can see which bits I'm carving. I start carving using a V-shaped file tool to carve around the outside of my design and to carve out larger details. I really like using this tool because it gives a clean, deep cut which is really important for fabric printing. When I'm carving out the detail, generally I like to stick to the design that I've drawn, but I also add in a few extras that I think will look really good or if I want to change anything while I'm carving. It's really important when you're printing on fabric to make sure that the lines are really clear and that they are thick enough that they will print well and show up nicely on fabric. a larger u-shaped file tool to carve away the background of the lino. This gives a shallower, wider cut. Sometimes you need to go over this a few times to ensure that you've got all of the lino so it won't create noise when you print. The noise is caused by bits of the lino that haven't been carved away properly and they pick up ink and print on your design that you originally didn't want to be printed. Then I use the smallest file tool that I have to carve out any really tiny details. This can sometimes be really tricky when you're printing on fabric because you need a lot of ink and sometimes the small details get lost so it's important to make sure that they are carved really deep so the lines won't fill with ink. then use a slightly larger tool to carve out some more details of my print. I'm using this tool in a circular motion to create these tiny little dots on the top of the mushroom. I 
I'm then repeating the same thing with my second design. I wanted to use the most of this lino, so I decided to do two mushroom prints. It's really important that the lines you carve are deep and clear because especially if you're printing on a textured fabric, sometimes they don't pick up very well at all and it can be really difficult to get an even print. Fine lines can be difficult to print if you're working with really textured fabric. Today I'm not using really textured fabric, it has like a slight texture but it's not too bad so I'm hoping that these lines will pick up fine but it's something to bear in mind if you're using a thicker fabric or a really textured fabric. Once I finish carving out my design, I take a larger tool and carve around the outside of the design. I do this to ensure the edges of the design are clear and will print well without any noise. I then take a pair of scissors and I cut around the design. This way I can get a smaller stamp and then I can reuse any of the lino which I haven't carved on. I just use a pair of normal scissors and just cut around the outside of the design for this. Once I finish cutting out the stamps, I then go ahead and use a larger file tool just to neaten up the edges and make sure that the edges are really smooth when I come to print it. Then using my speed bullet ink and my fabric printing roller, I use quite a lot of ink and I roll out the ink until it becomes tacky. I then apply a really thick layer, like as thick as I can get it, onto the stamp without losing any of the detail. It does need to be a really thick layer because it gives a better print. I'm then going to test print on a piece of scrap fabric and I've put a cloth underneath the fabric because sometimes the ink does go through and I don't want it to stain my table. Then I just place the stamp onto the fabric and apply pressure using the baron. I apply pressure for about 20 seconds and then sometimes apply more pressure with my fingers before peeling away the stamp. I do also find that it takes a couple of prints to get a really nice dark print. It takes a while for the ink to build up on the stamp. It's also really important to get a really thick coverage of ink on the stamp. I'm just using this test print as an opportunity to see how they print. If I need to go in and do any extra carving, carve away any noise, then I will do that. I also like to use this time to figure out how I want my design to look and the composition and everything before I print on my actual fabric. Today I'm printing on a tote bag and I've just added a ruler so that I can make sure the spacing is fine and that they're all printed straight. It is temperamental working with fabric because creases in the fabric or anything can just disrupt the print a little bit but I think it adds to the nature of a hand printed item.
printing the mushrooms on the tote bag and this is the final thing I think it's really cute I'm quite pleased with it again the printing isn't perfect but it's just the nature of working with fabric and the way that it creases and stuff that like sometimes it won't always be perfect but I'm really pleased with that so yeah let me know if you have any tips or tricks for printing on fabric or anything that you think I've missed that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one